So good morning, everybody. I'm Caterina Cavallini, a new PhD student at Consult Side Effects. And for the Pecha Kutsa event, I would like to present my master thesis work that was carried out at Instituto Superior Tecnico in Lisbon. And the topic was the construction and exploitation of an experimental device to test the weightability of stainless steel by liquid gallium. Gallium is a liquid metal that could be used in a fusion reactor as a plasma facing component with capillary porous system through which gallium should diffuse thanks to the capillary force. The final effect is the wetting of the capillary porous system by the liquid metal forming a thin and continuous layer. Gallium is a liquid metal can be defined as a liquid metal since it melts at about ambient temperatures, just above ambient temperature, which are uh, 29 degrees. Liquid gallium is oxidized in air, and the most stable oxide is the three gallium oxide, as you can see in the image reported. So the, one of the main drawbacks of gallium is its high corrosion activity on top of most metals. An example is aluminium, which is a metal totally destroyed by gallium. The phenomenon is called the liquid metal embrittlement, and in, the, in this image you can observe the effect of just a few droplets of gallium deposited on top of aluminium uh, surface. So wetting is the ability of a fluid to spread uniformly on a solid surface forming a thin and continuous layer. And the contact angle of theta is the parameter used to describe the wetting, and you can see it in the image. So uh, wetting is usually achieved when theta is less than 90 degrees. So the first task of my uh, work was to design and construct a ultra high vacuum machine in order to test the weightability of stainless steel. A section of this uh, machine is reported in the slide and this machine works in a range of 10 minus eight, 10 minus seven millibar in cold state and 10 minus six millibar with a heater on. The top part of the machine is characterized by a gallium injection pipe and by a degassing tank where gallium is held in a, in a liquid state. The underneath part, a stainless steel membrane was used in order to fit, keep it there, the gallium, and up the stainless steel membrane after that was punched by the vanadium rod. The bottom part instead are, is characterized by two movable collectors used to produce the gallium droplet, and by a heater where the stainless steel samples were put on top of it. And so on top of this sample, the gallium droplets were uh, sequentially deposited. So 194 centimeter cubes of gallium were injected in the top part of the tank by using the device here reported. Gallium was the guest for 24 hours at about 200 temperatures and two sets of experiments were carried out in order to investigate time, temperature and roughness of the wetting phenomenon. The first sets of experiments were carried out at high temperatures which means 510 degrees, and each experiment was recorded for six hours. Three samples of stainless steel with different raspness were prepared. Each, each experiment that was recorded by a fast camera in order to study fast angle evolution of the uh, droplet. So two droplets were consequentially deposited on top of each sample, and here you can observe the uh, fast angle evolution of a single um, gallium droplet deposited. You can observe that at the end, no, um, the droplet is no longer observable and an intercompound, intermetallic compound layer is formed, which means that a reactive wetting occurs. The second set of experiments were carried out at lower temperatures and each experiment lasted 12 hours. Two samples of stainless steel with different roughness were prepared and you can observe the roughness in the image and for each sample, three experiments were carried out at different temp temperatures, which are the ones we put in the last uh, um, row. So turning to the result, we're gonna first focus on the temperature and time effect. So as you can observe, the temperature effect is reported in by different colors in the graph. So the contact angle theta decrease, decreases with time until an equilibrium value is reached. Regarding temperature, the contact angle depends on temperature and higher is the temperature, lower is the contact angle theta. Turning to effect of roughness, we're gonna first set, uh, focus on the first set of experiments, the one carried out at high temperatures. Here you have the effect, the roughness by, reported by different colors, and you can observe that at high temperatures, the wetting process is favored by high roughness values. Turning this, to the second set of experiments, the one carried out at lower temperatures, here you have the, um, the, the 
roughness reporting also here by different colors. And you can observe that at lower temperatures, the wetting process is hindered by high roughness values. So this result seems in contrast with the one obtained at higher temperatures, but we have a possible explanation. So the high temperatures, high temperatures favor the diffusion of gallium to the unreacted substrate. So the wetting process is controlled by the reaction at a triple line contact. So roughness enhances wetting since the diffusion coefficient is high enough to overcome the surface asperities and to replenish gallium to the unreacted substrate. Temperatures lower than 500 degrees favor the reaction at triple line contact. So the wetting process is controlled by the diffusion of gallium at the triple line contact. So roughness hinders the wetting process since the rough surface pins the droplet on the surface asperities and grooves. And here you have a net, uh, reported the, the graph regarding. A specific ultra-high vacuum to wrap up, a specific ultra-high vacuum experimental device was designed and constructed and a reacting wetting course between gallium and stainless steel. Turning to the effect of temperature and time, high temperatures and prolongated contact of gallium and stainless steel favor the wetting process. The effect of roughness depends on the temperature at which the experiment is carried out. So at high temperatures, which means over the 500 degrees, wetting is controlled by the reaction at the triple line content. Whereas at low temperatures, wetting is controlled by the diffusion of gallium at the triple line content. So smoother the surface, lower is the equilibrium contact angle value. Future work of this uh, at that time were the analysis of the intermetallic compound layer to better understand the reaction involved. Future more of measured stainless steel that might be used a capillary pore system was going to be tested. And a new heater able to reach up at 800 degrees was in, was in construction in order to test tanks and uh, samples. So thank you for your attention. Thank you very much, Katarina, for the wonderful presentation.